previously. I'm gonna beat your body with your own skull! Crew at Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Feels like it's been a long time for S.H.I.E.L.D. Huh, yeah. Hasn't it? What was it's this? been, I, huh? That's the S.H.I.E.L.D. bird flying. Oh. This? Yeah. See, it doesn't fly. It should. It's stoic and it stands tall like America. Last time on S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, we may be back to the past, or at least some of us. Yeah. Or the present. The present. Because they were in the future. It would be the present. Unless you consider the future being there for a long time, does that become your present? No. Oh. Because that's not where you belong. Like, we belong in this present, but if we were to go to the future, we would still always live in the future. But if we were never came back, then we belong there. We would still be in the future. What about that one girl from that one show that we watched, where uh -huh. she got sent back in time and lived her entire life back in time, and then was dead before she was... She, she was lived in the past. So is that her present? Yeah. So that's it? So, they were also in space, but kind of Earth 2, I guess, but uh... Yeah, they should be going back. Um, we lost Enoch. Deke. Deke. Right? They were both there. <coughs> there was an explosion. Deke was like, oh shit, and it blew up. That was our whole poll. I, I oh, that was the poll? Yeah. Can I remember being like, I don't know, maybe Deke can jump in. And we can ride like on the side of, uh, like Jack did in Doctor Who. What? <laughs> remember? The side of what? Some <laughs> weird watery liquid shit? <laughs> uh... Um, <laughs> yeah, there was that. We had Cassius, and we had Sonara, we had Yo-Yo with, uh, some no arms, right? Mm -hmm. That Yo-Yo had no arms. Yeah, right? uh, we had, she died, Mac had that situation. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything from, from the last episode. It was a great, great little, uh, what do they call it, pod. I enjoyed it, of S.H.I.E.L.D. Pod? Pod. But we don't know, it's not over. No, it's over. It might not be. You don't know. They're gonna have a whole break, and then have, like, one more. Maybe more, more info. No, new episode, new pod. That's how they do it. No. Nope. So anyway, we did have a poll. Let's see what the subject of the poll was. Um, do you think that Deke and or Enoch could have time traveled back as well? 5% said Enoch did. Yeah, I think Enoch's gone. 15% said both did. Okay. 30% said Deke did. Okay. And 48% said neither one. 48%. They're both gone. Yeah. Almost half the people said they're gone. Okay. I mean, I could... It makes most sense that it's, an, you know, they they were part of that They arc. were there for that, and then they were gone. gone. Yeah. Kind of like, uh, I mean, what was weird is, like, last season, the season before, we had um, Radcliffe? Yeah. Daniel Radcliffe? Mm-hmm. He, he, he came through with a couple. He was around for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I loved it. I thought he was just going to be there for the end of the uh, Squid Ward. Yeah. But then he stuck around yeah. for a good while. It's kind of surprising. <clears throat> um, like Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider was there. True. And he was gone. But then he showed yeah. back up later on. Oh yeah, we also have a thing with Phil Coulson. Something's going on with, his, with, the, with the dinghy. <clears throat> he was infected by it. the stab. <laughs> Some people were saying that it might have been a stab, others were saying that it couldn't have been the stab. Really? Yeah. He got cut though. No, but they were saying that it was like, it wasn't like, an, like if you watch it closely, that's not what it was, and he was also a little weird before that, too. There was some, there might, it might be something else. I mean, people were talking about this Ghost Rider deal for a very long time. It's gotta come back at some point, right? But yeah, but I don't um, think that's what this is. This was like a could be. Wasn't this close to um? It's close to like what that other guy had, right? Like the way it was like kind of coming up and doing his thing, like the weird poison stuff that they gave him, the, the ragey stuff and stuff. Yeah, maybe. Well, that yeah, we'll see. I don't know. But anyway, there was also that thing, which I'm sure is not resolved. No, it's probably fine. Remember, because he was like, "You got to lead Daisy." Like I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Andrew says, since disintegrating can't send you back or forth in time, I'm going to go with a strong no. Strong no. <clears throat> uh, Serena says, I don't think they go back. It would be awesome, but unlikely. Okay. Robert says, would be cool because I like them both. But no, they're dead. Hmm. I have a little hope, guys. I loved Enoch. Enoch was so great this season. This season. It was so, so fantastic. I am Cree, like I have always been. Hello, brother. I am Cree. The big nerd says Deke knew ahead of time that he was going to blow up, so why did he act surprised when it happened? The son of a bitch moment. 
But I think that perhaps the piece of a monolith that was there could send him back. Yeah, the little tiny piece, he could jump around that. Why did he say son of a bitch if he knew it was going to happen? Uh, maybe. maybe he saw, like, like a hand reaching out, grabbing his face, oh, you son of a bitch, and now he's going, I don't know. Or rock hand. Rock hand? Yeah. Alex said, I said neither, but I hate it because Deke was probably my favorite new character. Yeah, he was cool. If he does go, I hope he gets to take his Star-Lord helmet. Gofree says, I vote for Deke to have traveled back, given that he was standing right in front of the piece of the monolith in the machine. However, I think it's a very small chance, so it's most likely to be neither. But I still have hope, so I made a vote for hope. Vote for hope. <clears throat> exactly. And then Ashgar77 says, you could roast marshmallows off their corpses. They're so dead. That's so good. That deserves a button hit. Let's get started. Okay, who made it? Did Yo-Yo and Mac and Gemma? Yo-Yo, Mac, and Gemma? Uh-oh. Yeah! Say your prayer, what do I do for fit my son? Uh, I don't know why I was thinking of Metallica. Who's this? I don't know that Or deal. why wait for me to answer your knock when you can just walk right on in? Oh. And why put your phone down when you can just be a brainless drooling moron? She was the main person after I was uh, Fitz, right? Yeah. Chat. You're obsessed with Daisy Johnson. Quick. My orders are to cap. Shit. Y'all come back in the same place here. Wait. This is okay, the, uh, good. Uh, the lighthouse. Okay. The last time they went to time, they all sing. All the damn hosts. Once initiated, project reclamation is conducted through secure communications known as electronic mail. Our agents were instructed <laughs> to gather you, the selected elite. Follow me this way. <laughs> See? Here I am. <laughs> Over here. Fitz, you're with me. <laughs> Over here. The shield technology will make you think that the 1980s got here a bit early. <laughs> okay. He's a fun come true scenario. Whoa! Whoa! There's three! Whoa! Why there's so many? What's the third one? Space time and. Where did they come from? Unknown. <laughs> Who's this? Are you? Perhaps I should not have startled you. Hello, I'm Noah. I'm a sentient chronicom from a planet which revolves around a star in the constellation. Sing this. Various potential threats. You'd be surprised how frequently S.H.I.E.L.D. is mentioned. Hmm. We have a small but active fan base. Small but active. There are several events of note. That's funny. A well-known politician <laughs> attempting to delete his FBI files. An Asgardian spotted in the city. What? Yeah, what's that? I don't know. From the sky. Figured you'd be interested. And we're back. <laughs> okay. I'll be more useful in here. I'll run back end on the mission with all of Noah's dope-ass equipment. Dope ass is a, it's a good thing. So what do we do? <laughs> Just walk out the front door into town? Ah, oh, it's gotta be so great. I told you they'd make it back. And we were like, well, we're here forever. We're just in space now. <laughs> we really are home. We're stopping a crazy robot lady. Or falling out of a plane. Fighting Daisy's mom. Or fighting Daisy's dad. Or dancing. What? <laughs> Wait. That's the only one to what freak her out. What I just wanted. You know how long I've been looking for a 1975 T2 1600 engine with shag carpeting? <laughs> John's price was more than fair. <laughs> it was a steal. First off, everything, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. You guys have a great day. Me right. too. It's Thank a you. steal. Oh, shit. What you doing? Dig! Ow. I told you. This is relatively where he would have been, right? Um, oh boy. We would have put him in the ground. I knew it. Maybe forty percent. You're wrong. Whatever that pole. Aww. Okay, He's on your tree hugger. Doggy. <laughs> Trash. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, I do this. Oh, that's a good one. You see the shit I get. <laughs> god, thank god for that oh, sign. Oh my god, I'm so happy. How's he gonna pay? Zima! Pickles! Off of a, off of a burger, it's fine. Right. Okay, sorry, here you go. 
Will you take credit cards or cash? Whatever works best for you. Yeah. Like <laughs> Dude. No, it's okay, man. I'm from the future. So if I adjust the frames per second. So a signal being sent it's out. It's being sent from Earth. How yeah. do they adjust it? So once we saw that, we knew what it was. This is the beacon hive used, sir. To call the Cree to Earth. Oh. Now someone's using it again. Who's using it? I know what's got you worried. Baby, I don't need a rock to crush it. Mm. <laughs> you need this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Now with Wither and Eric, that's dangerous. No, 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 no. Put that, put that, put that. Ice cream. Also, it was Enoch. Enoch is very reckless. But you know this, you've met him. <laughs> very reckless. Not another step, bro. Oh, hey! Piper? What's she doing here? Hey guys. Don't see her go for a while either. That's the same character. Well, he didn't mention a social worker was supervising him. Your name? Sonara. Sonara Smith. It's Portuguese. Sonara. <laughs> Not Smith. Uh, he wandered off during a day trip. My apologies. Could be too late. No! I think it's not the end of the world, but the crew would still come, right? Block it! There's still paperwork you need to fill out. Yeah, of course. Whatever you need. Damn it. Keep him there. Damn it. Buzzing, dizzy, and pushing and pulling, but then bang, Zima. How do you show up in another time, Mike? I don't do science. Piper! Relax. No one needs to get hurt. What's Piper doing? What's this? Who's that? Kill them. What? What? You want to what? run, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Yes, me. No, man. Things are happening. Sorry, Piper. Guaranteed our safety. What? Come on, Piper. Oh man, who are these guys? Shit. Robots. They're Fuck. not human. Go for the fight. Fucking robots. But I just wanted to help. And you got played. Come on, you have to help us now, Piper. Kill the robots. I'll cover you. Okay, good. Shoot my face. The robots. What is happening? Oh. I believe saving you from imprisonment was wrong. Oh. All yeah. right, cool. Well, you seem fun. Daisy, <laughs> Daisy, come in. We need to land somewhere close and fast. I mean, they can build our new arms, right? Whoa, look at this. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's pretty. That's they have pretty a whole cool. new shield base. Hell yeah, yeah the lighthouse. Yeah. Is it huh? Ruby? Her daughter? Why? You're late. Perhaps you'd like to explain what the hell happened out there. Run. Huh? What? They're gonna blow up. Run. Go. Go. Now. They're gonna blow up the bomb. Oh Noah, what is going on this episode? Who's this? Philadelphia. Who's running in Philadelphia? Rocky? Go shy. Mr. Creel. Cr Crusher Creel. It's orbit, man. Figured I'd see you again soon. I'm putting together a team. Team? An anti-shield team? Man, not! Creel, he's a good dude! I'm glad to see him back, though. He in the front seat? Did you say shotgun? No one said shotgun. I will remember. Holy shit, dude. Again. 
I mean, all the stuff that happened, but S.H.I.E.L.D. is just the best. It mm. so much is crazy. Okay, so, I mean, Yo-Yo. Yeah. I was gonna be like, good things, we got Deke back here, that's kinda we cool. We had great things, we had, I mean, the show was just you so You wanna great. start with Yo-Yo? <laughs> that's the, that's... <sighs> Poor Yo-Yo, man. What was she even doing? Like, she threw it, and then she ran, and then her arms were off. Yeah. Like, what know. happened? I don't know, it was so fast, it was hard to see. How, like, isn't she so fast she can <laughs> avoid it? And she had so to she was just back. running towards Mac like, to try Mac! to save him. And, then just... and she threw ahead, so she takes off, she throws here, and it hits her. You did that, I couldn't double click. <laughs> that sucks, man. But so, that's the that, that's the moment of the future. Yeah. So is this Ruby girl who is this person? Is that really her daughter? Is, is she it an a inhuman? prisoner? Is it an inhuman? Like that's a really good throw for her is, to make. Is, that, you does know? it just happen to be a circle blade like the Wakanda ladies use? Is By the way, Black Panther happened during the break, and it's supposed to change everything, like in terms of vibranium and stuff. Is that taking effect yet, or is that before this, or after this, or we don't know. But anyway, I was like, ooh, is that like a vibranium blade or something? But it could just be a blade that yeah. she threw, and it boomeranged back to her. Okay. But Cap Shield came back to him, kind of. Didn't yeah, but that's Especially vibranium. later on with metal. That's also vibranium. Like magnets. Yeah. <sighs> that thing does not obey the laws of physics. I just don't know how, I don't know what Ruby's play is. I, like, is she or, really a daughter? Is, was she been brainwashed to be a daughter? Does she have free reign to walk around? Because that one door looked like a big fucking yeah. door. You know I did I mean? not, yeah, no, she's definitely like in a compound. She's in that hallway that they're keeping them. I just did not expect that was Ruby. I was like, fucking, is it Kree? Is it Sonara? Is Sonara back? She's alive. Yeah. I was I like, please know. God, be Sonara. <laughs> Her door just looks like something to keep people yeah, in, no, you know? no, this is like a thing where, you know, you decorate it to be like a normal room. It's probably a fake window back there. Yeah. And then you have the, uh... I'm just saying, like, it doesn't look like yeah. you can open it from the inside. It's gotta be like a, you open it from the outside kind of thing. Yeah. And I'm just like, so, is she a prisoner? Is she even a daughter? Is she been brainwashed to be a daughter? Yeah. Or raised as being yeah. a daughter, you know? Sure. I don't know. Is that the same, like, facility area that... Did Talbot Fitz was being held in? want this stuff to happen? It seemed like him and Coulson were kind of in a good terms. Until all the shit happened. Uh... And they blew shit up. I think we lost Enoch, too. Did yeah! What, what happened? What was his that? name? Noah. I'm under the belief that it, he should just look just like Enoch. And it'd be the same actor, because I loved him so much, you know? Especially if you're going to kill him off again. But that's just me. I mean, that guy was good, too. Uh... Noah, yeah, you're right, Noah. Um, I hope he's not dead, but... I mean, he jumped on the blast. Is, is that intervening, though? Or I guess, like, the extension level event is to make sure these guys don't die. That's why he's protecting them that way? I don't know. Dude, I was so happy for Deke when he got back. Mm -hmm. It's just such a great feeling. I love that, you know, you have to have fucking ten episodes of this guy, like, you know, living in this terrible place, and then you could have him hug a tree, you know? If that was like the first episode or even the third episode, you'd be like, okay, well, right, that's, that's cool. I get it. But here I feel it. Like I feel that man hugging a tree. You know? I want to go hug a tree. What? What's the third monolith? I don't know. I'm wondering who she's getting for her team. But I don't know who the third monolith would be either. So yeah. that one monolith you, you think is the... the I think the one is the one that took him to Maveth. Maveth, right? The space monolith. Macbeth. It's not Macbeth. I think that one... Was the old one that would blah, 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 and then it went. Not this one with circles on it. No, I don't think so. This one with circles on it. The one with circles on it is something new. I think it's Westworld, the Mace. <laughs> <laughs> so if that one takes him to the future, and that one just takes him to a specific planet. I mean, that one could just take him to another planet too, right? Well, one space, because they didn't space. move. They didn't it's, in, it's in time. Planet. They didn't move in space. You know. Yeah, but space is. What do you mean? You just mean it just takes you through through space? It yeah, takes, it takes you to that that planet that they worked on Kree, right? Well, yeah, but I, I don't know, like, it could, it might be able to be programmed to take you to another place if it wanted, right? Like, where, like, you know, that one had a, this monolith and this monolith, is it supposed to be the same exact monolith? You know? I don't know. I mean, none of them are the same, right? No, I mean, like, is this monolith right here the same one that's put back together by, uh, Flint. Yes, right? No. Because... Hmm. I don't know. 
the time for that, like, this is the one that took them to the future. And then, like, they had a piece of it, which was what was left back there. That yeah. Flint's like, okay, he had looked at it, figured out yeah. it, and then made a new one. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he made the new one, so, like... In essence, he, like, programmed it to take them back to this time, right? Because if this one is just, you know, why did that one take them back specifically to this time? Well, it can't really be because this one is here, because this one's going to be here for a while, right? Why that day or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? I'm trying to think, like, why does one monolith interact with another that, like, why, how, how did the monolith know to send them back exactly this time or take them exactly that forward, you know? Well, how long have they been gone? I don't know. We have no idea about how long they've been gone. Yeah. It... But I was going to say, like, if we think about that, then the space monolith, the one that tra teleports you, probably could be programmed to send you to a certain place. You know? Well, okay, so Fitz was without anybody for six months. Six months. And the Quinjet was there where he said Hunter and them left it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it's been at least at least six months, six six to seven month range because Hunter and Bobby should have been here with Robin, but they weren't. Mm -hmm. But the but the ship was still here, which yeah. they didn't take the ship, I guess. Yeah. So currently, right now, Fitz and Enoch are orbiting around Jupiter. Yeah, and if they're gone, it has to have been at least six months yeah. since they've left. So they've been okay. gone for six months. Okay, I mean, that makes right? sense. Yeah, but what I'm saying, like in terms of you know what they do. Technically, you have teleportation slash space. You have fucking time travel. What's that? Is the Infinity Stone? The one we're missing. Coming? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Well, I'm I'm sure that they don't say they don't show a new third monolith and don't tell you eventually. Probably not. They probably, right? won't, they probably won't be anything. It'd be nothing. Okay. What the hell's that? And it yeah. just never shows up again. <laughs> they blew them up. They're gone. Sure. What if they all three mix together and make it like a giant Megazord? Yeah, I don't know. We also had a uh, we had a rogue Asgardian. Uh, they talked about at one point. They were saying things that had happened since they've been gone. Now in Thor Ragnarok, uh, Lady Sif was banished by Odin slash Loki. It could be Sif out there. She's been on the show before. Yeah. Maybe Sif is walking on Earth. I don't know. That could be a thing, or it could just be another thing. You know, sometimes they just say shit. <laughs> you know. I mean, didn't we have a? Wasn't that one guy a random Asgardian? Yeah, we we had the uh, the scientist guy. Yeah, yeah. he was a random guy. Mm -hmm. But he died. Could have been just some, some random person. Sure, maybe. it could have been. I mean, uh, Heimdall isn't taking anybody anywhere, right? It was it was, uh, it was fucking Carl Urban. <laughs> he was doing it for a while, and Heimdall's back now, right? Doing it? No, no, they're all no it's all gone. It. So <laughs> like no, like, sending them away. No, anymore. but it can't be any of the Asgardians that are on the ship because they're not there yet, right? So it's gotta be, it's gotta be Sif. Not if the time frame is that that hasn't ha all happened yet. Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. usually they do it where it's like, well, this happened here, and then these are released, and now these happen, yeah. and whatnot. But, but then you also have Guardians, which just happens like. Well, it's either a random ass Guardian or Sif. I like, can't be anybody else. I don't Sif. think. Yeah, Lady Sif. Um, I really loved the. Uh, we have a small but active fan base. Uh, I I enjoyed that little little throw when they did that. You know. Because uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. does have a small fan base, but it's so passionate. And it, it pisses me off all the time because it's such a good show. It's consistently well written. Yeah, every episode. Like Flash of an episode well. that I absolutely love. And I don't have an episode that I'm like, eh, you know. And then the next episode I have to wait and be like, oh, okay, what, is it going to be a good one or is it going to be a bad one? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is like, it's always going to be a good one. <laughs> you know, I'm always so excited. And it has little shit like fucking Rick Stoner, you know. Kronk? Yeah. Uh, Mr. The, the Tick, or Agent Shield leader from Project Reclamation. Yeah, well, said. he was from back in the 70s. Yeah. And they had some kind of pr Project Reclamation, which would have been for if some bad stuff went down, yeah, they sent out a special secret message via electronic mail. Electronic mail. <laughs> I like how they all just kind of smiled at that. Sure. And then like, later on, I love him talking about, you got to think you're finding... Uh, Stuff from the 80s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the 80s are already here. Yeah. So who else is going to be in this team? Robots. Huh. They have robot foot soldiers. Wait, do the foot... Are they not part of the military and stuff? Why do they have to have robots? I don't know. Ro like robot ninja guys that were like beating up on everybody. Yeah, I don't know. I why, mean, May's why? still not 100%, right? Why kill them? Because they're most wanted. It, no. Because they're the ones is that are going to stop this shit from happening. No. Because they don't like them. 
No. <laughs> what, is it, she said about, like, injuring them. Like, did she think that she just said kill them and they'd all fight and someone would get hurt and then they'd have to go, like, that would maybe make Daisy show up? Yeah. Is that the whole reason they'd kill him? Instead of just capturing Ruby them, wants then, Daisy. For if some if they captured all of them, then Daisy showing up probably wouldn't have been an issue, right? Is Daisy really her hero? I don't know. What is going on? I don't know. They got they got Crusher Creel. Who else can they get? As I as I said before, you said robots. Oh, robots! <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like what about the guy at the bottom of the fucking ocean? What's he doing? <coughs> He's been there forever. Uh, BJ. Yeah. What's he doing? Hey. What about Cyborg Man? Deathlock, right? Deathlock. Where's he been? You know what would be really kind of cool is, you know, uh, yeah, some kind of like bad anti-shield team where we have like, you know, a group of people that we can have, you know, that perfectly complement or something. That'd be kind of cool. And, hey, this is, you know, next episode, I believe, is episode 100. So that'd be a cool little opportunity to maybe bring some familiar faces back for a bad guy team. Did you, next episode is? I think so. So you have Deathlock. And Crusher Creel, mm -hmm. and Gravitonium, or whatever his name was. And then just Ward. You had to have Ward. How would they get Ward, though? I don't know. Like, somehow all this time he actually came back from the framework and just now got back? That would be fucking awesome. The Superior? Oh, yeah, around, Superior, right? yeah. The Russian. Didn't they mention him in this episode? Ivar? Yeah, Ivar. Ivar. They, they said the Russian at one point. I'm like, well, I don't, know, one I don't know if that was his real name, but there I'm no other it right. was. No other right. But Piper mentioned it. Yeah. And she said about, like, I told him, I told him everything so they know it's not your fault. I don't be cool to see him again because we recently started Black Sails, so, like, I'm like, ah, oh, fucking Charles Vane's cool. I kind of wish I knew how cool he was when I watched him in Into the Shield. But I was the same way with uh, Malcolm Merlin from Arrow. It's like, I loved him, of course, but now that I know so much more about John Barrowman, I want to rewatch Malcolm Merlin. And it might have been similar to the, like, you were currently going through Doctor Who, uh -huh. but I don't know how much you knew about David Tennant before we had to Jessica Jones. Sure. And now we're going through more who you're having um, more David Tennant than you had before. Yeah, honestly, uh, it might work. The there's only a couple things I've seen David Tennant, but he was so good as Kilgrave that I didn't need to see anything. Yeah, it was just here's this amazing actor that fucking kills it every time he's in a scene. You know, um, I mean, I, I had previously seen him in Harry Potter and yeah, true. Some, some other stuff. He's but not in Harry Potter anymore. Not very much. He's like, hello, father. <laughs> Um, and then we had the return of Piper, which that actress has been in the show for a little bit. That's kind of like a background show agent, but I liked it, but I hated it. I, I mean, liked that she showed back up, but I hate that she was like betraying everybody. I can understand like if it has been six months or something like that. It's like, look, these are the people that I found. They said they're gonna help. Well, she got captured. You know, yeah, and she made the right choice. So she's she's on the Zephyr with him, as is Deke. Mm -hmm. I just want to continue like seeing Deke like. Enjoying the world, you know? Where would you go? Hmm. What's the first thing you would want to do? See the world. After that. I don't know. If I don't know the world, I don't know where I'd go. Yeah. Like, Deke, like, where, where, he'd probably just go anywhere. He'd probably just go to fucking... Name just the sh Whatever the shittiest place on Earth would be. He'd probably love that. You know what I mean? Oh, hell yeah. I know. I got junkyard. It would be awesome. He was in the he, trash. He's just like, ice yeah, cream! Yeah, exactly. I yeah. was like, I don't know, what was, I was just thinking in my head, like, what's the shittiest place on earth? Like, I have no idea. Yeah. But that place, he'd probably be like, this is amazing. I mean, getting like a bar cheeseburger is pretty good. He did that. Those onion rings, crunchy, slamming the middle. Mm. Mm. No, we're not done. <laughs> I'm done, though. Let's go to Q&As. Okay, so as you guys know, now that Shield is back, uh... We're gonna try, we usually are gonna film these on Mondays, so you'll have like Friday night and Saturday and Sunday to get your questions in. Today we, we did a little early, we did it on Sunday just because we were gonna have a crazy week. Uh, so this will go up a little earlier than normal. But anyway, so when you have a question for Agents of Shield, make sure you're going to Twitter, at BlindWaveProd, and put in your hashtag, Shield Q&A? Shield. Shield Q&A. Okay? So let's see what people had to say about this one. John said, Pickles, Eric! Hey, no, the pickles were off the sandwich. That's fine. I've made that clear from the get-go. I eat pickles. I just don't allow them to ruin an entire bite of a delicate piece of meat, which is ground beef. Delicate piece of meat. Yeah. Ground beef, you can, it's not delicate at all. No, you, a lot it's of hard stuff, to fuck no, up you can, beef. A, lot of, a lot of stuff can overpower that, that taste, yeah. especially pickles, like meatloaf. all the vinegar and shit. You don't want that. Huh? <laughs> There's a lot of things can overpower that taste. Ruin it. I'm like, yeah, like meatloaf. What are you talking about? 
I'd rather have meatloaf on my burger than fucking pickles. Meatloaf on your burger? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking says this was a great episode. I was surprised when Deke showed up. Do you guys know next episode will be the 100th episode? Nope. No, I wouldn't have. Yes. Except Eric has not stopped mentioning it. That's exciting. Shield 100. Hashtag Shield 100. I think that's what their, their hashtag is. I remember if I realized that Arrow had its 100th episode when it had its 100th episode. Wasn't it the crossover? It was during the crossover, but I don't yeah. remember being like, dude, the next episode is the crossover and the 100th episode. I don't remember it. Oh. By the way, congratulations next week, but S.H.I.E.L.D. got to 100. It got to syndication level, so that's awesome. That's a successful show. Ryan says, would Eric injure Daisy's friends to get get her like Ruby? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Richard says, uh, they cut off Yo-Yo's arms. I know that's how it is in the comics, but that was so unexpected. Yeah. Also, that scene with Deke at the beginning of the episode had me crying. It was so funny. Anyways, thoughts on the whole, thoughts on those points and the episode as a whole. I don't know Yo-Yo in the comics, so I I did not expect that to happen. Even though she it was in the future, she had no arms. I kind of just thought it was like a, a prisoner thing. Like you know, she can't run and grab things. She has no arms. Let's take her take her arms. You know, but. I mean, luckily, they have Fitz, who has made an amazing prosthetic hand, you know, but, so he'll probably make prosthetic arms. We need to go back three episodes in. Why? Because either things have changed, or whenever we saw Yo-Yo, and we were talking about how it's like in this big loop yeah. and everything, Yo-Yo was there holding one of those, like, Kree spear things. Sure, and yeah. she had arms. Yeah, she did, but and we could were like, they, could that's they... when she was going to be captured. Yeah, right? but could have, like, I don't remember, I mean, she could have been wearing a jacket and gloves. And she has prosthetics. Or she could have fucking just prosthetics there. You know? I'm saying, we need to go back and watch it. Yeah. Well, even if we saw her with bare arms, I'd be like, well, this could be prosthetics. Prosthetics? Yeah. Colson's hand looks like a hand. Yeah. You know? So, we could go there and she has her fucking shirt off. I'd love it. But, you know, there's no way of knowing if she has lost them yet or not. I think time's different. Well, I mean, I think this time will be different. Different! But in the past, Hold it's all you, been Eric. a loop. Just like that monolith over there. Captain Scarab says, What do you think will happen to Yo-Yo following the battle? Will she be written out at the end of the season? Or maybe get robotic arms like her comic counterpart? Yeah, robotic arms makes perfect sense. I mean, they... You know, when you do it in like a show like Game of Thrones, well, you can't make robotic arms and shoot everything and not have to worry about makeup and prosthetic and all that kind of stuff while filming. In a show like this, you'll just give her new arms, you know? Um, but what will her arms be able to do? Like, can she not use her arms when she's just a super speed or something? I don't know. He's off balance. Yeah. Can't run. Or if she runs like the anime people, so it doesn't matter. She's just... Because they're like this. Oh, like called T-Rex arms? No, no, they're just like... Like how Garrett Fleming like from 6th grade used to run? That's as far as she can put them back. Oh, just, okay. These, these are gone. Yeah. Or is she running? What's she gonna do when she gets there? I don't know. With her head. Okay. Josh says, could the Asgardian appear in the city, mentioned by Noah, be Thor and Loki arriving looking for Odin in Ragnarok? Granted, it's a vague as it only mm. mentions one, even though Loki isn't really Asgardian. And the exit tunnel screen shows Lighthouse is in New York. Um, I guess that's possible. Whenever they uh, came and had the Doctor Strange thing. I was falling for 30 minutes! How do you know? Huh? How do you know? How do you keep track? You're probably counting. I can tell when it's one. been 30 minutes. You can. Yeah. No, mm, I don't know. I feel like sometimes there's just things happening you just don't know. Sometimes. You know? Like, I feel like I'm just falling. Yeah, like, but oh, if... Man, I've been in here for like... Yeah. An hour. I've been in here for like 30 minutes. I can see that. I don't think you meant like exactly 30 minutes. It's like Dr. Strange exactly. throwing a fucking egg timer. Like, you probably two put minutes. a timer right there in front of him right. as he fell. Oh, hold on. <laughs> but he kept falling faster and faster and he's trying to... No, how long's it been? No! Crusader says, sorry, Agent Whiteley, but now that Agent McKenzie is no longer MIA, you'll be forced to return the shotgun axe at Max's request. Thank you for cooperation. No. Well, he says, so Piper is the one who called the general, not the cops, right? Because the cop didn't keep Daisy and Deke there. No, they were fucking with us. That's why I said, damn it, they got me. Yeah. So I thought that cop went, hey. And then they're like, hey, they said, found him. Like, oh, okay. You need to, hey, wait, the paperwork and a phone number. So that cop was just doing his job just diligently. Doing a, doing a normal job. He, he and we thought, thought for he sure that this was bad. a uh, this was a deranged person with their social worker, but he was acting like, you got more Work to do. He's kind of a mean guy if he's doing that. He didn't do it like that. Yeah, huh? No, he was no, nice. You gotta stick around. He was good. He didn't seem. He's. I just thought he was. 
Damn it, Piper. I'm glad that dude got his van back. He got me. How did Piper call? What'd she do? She just pushed a button? Yeah. Like, she was like, oh, I think I found him. Okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> Keep him there. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. I don't know why I did the Nickelodeon as my ringtone. Crusader said, is Deke being there going to alter events of time? Uh, well, we don't know if Deke ever did it in the past, so we don't know. The only thing we know about what happened in the past was Daisy goes out of a plane and heads towards the epicenter. So Deke could have very well always have been in the loop. All right, so Bethany says, over 20% of Team Shield's arms are missing now. Do whatever you want with this useless piece of information. <laughs> On a more serious note, how long do you think it will take for Fitz to make prosthetic arms for Elena? Um, I wonder what they have in all two those episodes. boxes. Yeah. Like, could that be useful? Or is it too old of stuff that... They don't have the resources to do it, so they have to deal with it for this yeah. part well, of guess, the season. And the comic thing we had from talking about her having no arms before, she had more, like, robotic-looking yeah. arms, right? Yeah. Didn't we just have a robotic -y person die, maybe? Just take their arms? Just take Noah's arms? <coughs> so, like, fit them onto... Like but they look like arms. Kind of. But got skin. maybe it has no skin. Yeah. And maybe they're just the robotic arm pieces. So they just walk in. Like, you know, he went like this and he blew up and his arms just yeah. went flying. They just walk in. So Noah! Oh. Could you see? You know? Gonk, gonk. <laughs> I don't know why they do this. But maybe the skin won't match so they just peel them down to just sure. the, the robotic. Part. So she has like white guy arms. No, they peel off the skin so they're just And then arms. she's the Mexican lady. They, they're just the robotic arm part. They just, they, damn it, Eric. Agent Val. Is curious what the third uh, monolith does as well. Yes. They look like Gallifrey in circles in writing to me. Oh, <laughs> I, don't okay. think it's, I don't think it's sad. But yeah, I don't know. Well, that would be time. We already have a time one. Joe Schmo says next week's the 100th episode. I'm sure you already knew that. Mm -hmm. Who else thought that landing back on Earth meant less questions, more answers? Double also, my new theory is that Deke is his own father. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. What a great theory crafting this guy's done. That's so... Deke is his own father. Like, how uh, does that start? Like, that's... him and Daisy have a kid, and he no. knows how the thing works because he was trying to fix it, yeah. and his dad told him all about it, so then he births it, but he's his dad, so he's the one who knows about it. But then he births his own son, who then does all the same stuff and loops back like around. He's just a constant loop of one person. That's hilarious. Billy Lawrence says, so Wakanda is sharing their tech with the world now. Where are them vibranium yo-yo arms at? That's true. Like, made of, like, black sand and shit. I don't know. Like, she goes... And she doesn't want them. <laughs> they just... Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Though, I, again, like, the, the circular blade thing, it could just be a coincidence, of course, but same thing that Wakanda was using as well. Wakanda Colt has a... Has a, uh, here's where I'll get sweaty comic nerd. Okay. You think General Hale is a scrawl? Oh. She could be. Critty Knoll, she was known in the comics to shapeshift into shield agents, or HRPRA? Maybe it's supposed to be Hydra. Uh, mm. Who once became Mockingbird for a while. So the scrawls, which, yeah, they're, those are, those are b some big Marvel villains, um, Marvel does have the rights to the scrolls, But not Super Scrawl, right? Well, Fox did, but now, I mean, as long as the deal goes through, they will be able to do Super Scrawl, which is the scroll that has the power of the Fantastic Four. But I think that they'd be able to do the scrolls, but are they going to do Kree and Scrawl? Like in the same kind of thing? Or? Well, the Kree are their future problem, and then the yeah. Scrawl could be now problem. Maybe. Okay, I don't know. maybe. Jonah says, since they're doing the 100th episode next week, do you think they're going to have a team of villains from S.H.I.E.L.D.'s past? I would absolutely love that. I mean, we already have Crusher, who's not... I mean, he started out as a villain, but, you know, I, I kind of thought he would be a great candidate for uh, Secret Warriors. And then Secret Warriors lasted, like, not very it, long. What if... Like, I've heard rumors, like, this could be the last season or... Yeah. You know, whatever they're doing with that. And, like, with... with they have uh, Coulson dying, maybe, and Daisy taking over. What if this led into, like, S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to... Be shutting down, but Daisy's gonna start leading a new group called the Secret, the Secret Warriors. Warriors. And I they have it. like Daisy and maybe Crusher joins in and maybe some others like VJ or whatever. Yeah. And they become like, and that's how it ends. Like sure. Shield is done, but there's Secret Warriors. And like, oh, where are they going? Into the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I hope it's not the end of the Shield. Shield is just so good all the time. I mean, 
We'll see. I don't know. But they made 100, so they're good. Robert says, what? Grab her arms. Don't just leave them there. It's weird seeing Yo-Yo adopting the Barry Allen method of getting hit by shit while running at super speed. Yeah. I feel like this was lazy writing for shock value. I think I actually said, oh shit, out loud. If, I well, mean, I mean, the thing is, is that you can an anticipate what she does sometimes. Because she has to return well, to where she was. She has a heartbeat to go however far she yeah. needs to go. And then come right back to where she was as well. Yeah. So... Even if you were just like, well, she's gonna be running towards Mac. If I just throw it in the middle and it's gonna go and come back, there's two chances, depending on where it is in her path, yeah. that it might cut. Yeah, we also don't know if Ruby has any, is she an inhuman or is she just a badass like little girl or I don't know what it's supposed to be. You know, why the outfit and stuff like that. I mean, she's not trying to protect her identity from anybody but us, mm -hmm. so. I don't Robert know. also says it just doesn't make sense did the knife that she threw straight at Max somehow curve around Yo-Yo taking off only her arms? Why didn't it cut her in half? How did the blade come back to her without slowing down? The When we were re-looking, because we were like, what the hell happened? Let's yep. re-watch this part here. And it looks like she's going like this, and Yo-Yo is going to go for Mac, but she throws it in between them. And Yo-Yo is also going like this, like reaching for Mac, it looks like, yeah. before she takes off. So I think it was a matter of her throwing in between Yo-Yo's arms are out, and then it's some kind of weird, disky throwing thing, like Tron has some shit like that. They throw it, and they come yeah. back, and they catch it. Some shit like that. Yep. It's fake. Or vibranium. <laughs> I mean, Wakanda shares their vibranium with the world, and then some white girl takes it and cuts off a woman of color's arms. <laughs> Andrew. So, so we're just gonna jump back in like this? Yep. Damn, Agent Shield has no chill. Nope. Cool, we got Deke back. So do you mm. think this daughter of the general is human? Is she an LMD? Or could she be inhuman? And what the hell is this general's in game? Uh probably an enhanced somehow, because I mean if she's putting together a team, it makes sense like, oh well, there's another enhanced crush a Krill. And then she's an enhanced, and then we're gonna get more team, and we're gonna get Ward. I would love Ward, I just don't know how they do it. I don't want bad word. I want good word again. Yeah, you know? but he wouldn't be the bad guy side, you know. Yeah. The I don't. I don't know how they could do it I unless they do word. like a like a dream sequence or something. But they, I, you got to bring him back for episode one hundred. They, if they end the season, they should bring him back in the framework. He just showed up like yeah. he's been lost, trying to find out where the hell he was. Yeah. He's trying to reach Daisy. Yeah. He finally finds. Yeah. Him. That's how it ends. Don't mock the shocker. Says, what voodoo magic do you think they will use to get Brett Dalton back on the right. show? Right. Flashback framework version. Saved to LMD body. Whatever. Previously unmentioned twin brother. <laughs> Whatever they have to do. Wouldn't feel right to have a season without him. Mm -mm. Whatever they gotta do. Butt pull from any butt, sirs. Edwin B says, who do you want to see next week being the 100th episode? Brett Dalton. Uh, I'd like to see... Uh, I want Deathlock because we haven't had him in a Death long Lock time. Deathlock would be great to have oh, back. Melting Magnet Man or whatever. Melting Metal Man. Remember him? He didn't die, did he? Joey? Yeah, Joey, I think that's yeah. right. Okay. Remember yeah. him? Where'd he go? I don't know. He just disappeared. VJ? Daisy's dad? Uh, fucking, uh, uh, Trip. Trip? Trip. <sighs> trip! Remember Trip? We had him in the framework, didn't we? And also, yeah. He was there in the I'm framework. saying, fucking Trip, and then, uh, and then, uh, Mockingbird, and, um, Hunter and Bobby. Hunter, Hunter back, and Bobby. Right, yeah. The 100th episode. Yeah. That, that's that the one Marvel's most wanted fucking here. You know? They didn't get their show, but they could do it here. Hunter and Bobby should be back. I'd love Brett Dalton. I don't know how they do it. Uh, Deathlock, we haven't seen him in so long. I'd love mm -hmm. to get him back. It's been, like, since season three. Yeah. Like, I think mean, the last time we saw him was when he was, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, we did see... We saw his his skull last season. That doesn't count. I know. That's in the framework. But he was him. even faker. But it was him. It's even a faker. And, and we have one more question here. Uh, who is the bigger lightweight, Deke or Eric? If Deke ordered chicken fingers, I'd be convinced the writers watch your stream. That's from Agent 79. Shit, he saw it. Uh, <laughs> probably, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much he I'm had Zima. That's Zima. cheating. And he had several Zimas. Yeah, I don't know, man. Hi, Eric. Maybe. But I ain't going to jail. 
Enough of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, poll for this episode, Aaron. Poll. Okay, guys. Poll for this week. Now, we have episode 100. Uh, so, we're going to have a pretty decent list of people. Mm -hmm. And you have to pick who you would want back for the episode 100. Now, Aaron, do they only pick one or do they pick multiples? Let's let them pick multiples, and we'll see overall who is most wanted on the yeah. list and who's least wanted on the list so by like everyone that watches. So what that means is that when you go in that list, you can vote for every single one if you wanted to. It's like, nah, I don't really want that one. Just vote for all the ones you would want back, and then we'll take that total of those numbers and find which ones are most wanted mm -hmm. and least wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the list is... We got Lincoln. Lincoln. Maria Hill. Yep. Fury. Nick Fury. Uh, the Koenigs. A Koenig. Any, any of them. Ah. Uh, a Koenig. Patton Oswalt. Uh, Mace. Ma the, the, Jeffrey Mace. The newer, older director. Yep. Ghost Rider. Ooh, Robbie Riez. Radcliffe. Yep. Daniel. Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> That's, I always call him Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, Radcliffe. Sonara. Sonara. <laughs> Papa Johnson. Yes. Daisy's father. <laughs> VJ. VJ. Joey, which is the Metal Mountain dude. Joey. Bobby. Bobby. Hunter. Hunter. Deathlock. Deathlock. That's it. Nope. There's Ward. one more. <laughs> Grant Ward. Ward. A Ward. I want a Koenig or a Ward. A Koenig. I would like a Ward. A Ward? Yeah. Ward would be good. Yeah. I like Ward. I like a lot of these. There's some I like more than others. So when you go through and vote, if you don't want somebody, make sure you don't tick them and tick all the ones you do want. Yeah. If you want all of them, then... Good for you. If you want to be really special, though, you will get a award. Because people get awards when they're special and they do great things. Like vote for Grant Award. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Check out that poll over at patreon.com slash blindwave. And as always, make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode of Marvel's Agents of yeah! S.H.I.E.L.D. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on?